What's going on, man? I'm gonna pile some sugar wood. Yeah. What do they say? I gotta come check on you, I guess. Why do they say that? Yeah, that's just what they're passing along to me. Sound cool, man. Everything's good? Yeah. Alright, you haven't been drinking or anything like that, have you? No, I'm good, man. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Somebody called it in at draw 47. I'm not 47. No, we're just letting you know, okay? Alright, brother. You don't have to... My son, my... I got a text from my son. I can smell it. What's up? Get out of the car, Albino. You're doing like that? Get out of the car. Turn it off, kid. All right, man. So you've been drinking tonight? What's up, man? Who called this in? I don't know. I don't know who called it in, but what's up? So you've been drinking tonight? No. Been smelling it coming from the vehicle. Do you be willing to do the fields? No. No. Where are you coming from? Well. Honestly, came down, there were threats coming down from uh, over here that they were going to my son, so I came to check it out. And uh, if it was true, I was going to call you guys. So. Well, somebody said you were here starting trouble or you are all drunk, and that's why we got sent up here. That's not true. That is not true. I, you can watch the videos. I was parked over there, and I, my son was coming out at 11 o'clock. They said I was supposed to jump in at 11 o'clock, and that was that. So nothing happened at 11 o'clock, and if it did, I was going to call you guys or call my uh, my uh, my uh, deputies to come over here. So this person, he has problems, and pain, it's on my Texas, he, he can tell you the same thing. So that was it. So you're not going to submit to the field sobriety? I can smell it, bro, when I was standing it's up to you, bro, whatever route you want to take. Uh, what do you guys want to do? That's what you want to do. Watch your back, watch your back. Been out here a while then? So, been here a while? Well, yeah, well, like 15 minutes. Came down and watched his back. Concerned about my son. So, who are the ones that are supposed to be threatening him? Well, a couple guys, nothing he's ever done, so I came down to check it out, make sure it was safe. But, uh, well, <laughs> Is he in the store or is he out? Oh, he's right there. Oh, that's your, oh yeah, that's right, that's your boy, huh? So he came out, he came out from his work and 
profiteers. That's it, man. Someone said I was called the raising hell, but it was not. You can clearly see in the camera I was parked over there. Hey, Richie, tell her to kick rocks. Adam, I mean, Andrew. All right. You driving, Joey? Yeah. You smell like booze, man. You know, you know the way this goes. Would you agree or would you disagree? You know, if Officer Royale here saw you in the driver's seat, we'll control the vehicle. Keys are in the ignition. You know, multiple officers can smell it coming out of you. The what? Yeah, I know you've been drinking, I know. I can smell it, bro. You know what I mean? No, and I, and I get it, bro. We're good. You know we're good. You know what I mean? I've never had a problem with you or anything like that, but, you know, we also have jobs to do, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know? What is your cell? What is he waiting here for? No, I just... He got off of work. That's where I came. Yeah. A little bit of time. Uh, you get his info? Who could? The boy? Oh, yeah, bro, it's fucking, but what can you do, bro? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. I'm telling you, if not, you know, he's saying, he's saying if you want to go with it, go with it. If not, then I guess I can have you do this up, but that's what he's saying. So, it's up to you, man. But this is one of those things that determine our fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, bro. Alright, alright. I'm gonna just like any other DFA, bro. Alright, Harry says he's not gonna do fields, so. Alright, Joey. So you say you're not gonna do the fields, right? So you, or you would be willing to do them now? Go do Alright man. Alright. All right. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back, alright? Is that too tight for you? Good. Make sure they're locked. Alright, let's head over to my unit. Uh, let's go to the back of the unit first, right. then I gotta get the information and all that on it, and then we'll see from there. This way. Best way for these ones, put your back towards the other door. That's the best way you're gonna fit. Look, I ain't gonna do it. You put it in the front. I'm cool with spot. Nah, I can't put you in the front, man. All right. But if you put your back to the other door, it'll give you a little bit more room. All right. <sighs> All right. Listen to me. I'm gonna about to tell you something important. You're under arrest for a DUI. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency, obviously our department. Do you agree to take our test? Yes, sir. 
Okay, I can now force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in the court of, of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refused. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Do you agree to be tested now? No. No? No. Okay, do you have any ID or anything in the vehicle? Uh, it may be in my pocket, if not in a side door. All right, I'm gonna check your pocket real quick. Is it be this one here? It might be. Yeah, you ain't got nothing on this side. You don't have anything on the other side? No. Oh, uh, you might. It might be there. All right, I'm gonna go around to the other side and check. You want me to put the seatbelt on you? I'm good. All right. No, you ain't got nothing on this side either. All right, then. One, five hundred clear on the twenty-eight. Driver on the twenty-eight. Uh, dispatch only has it. All right. 